These are two white oak benches that I designed and made more than 15 years ago. And luckily I did sign and date them because it's, it's just kind of surprising how fast time goes by. And, and to see that 1999 on the bottom is, it's just a, a good habit to get into signing and dating your work because time flies by. So anyway, I ran into the client the other day, who's now a good friend of mine. He's been a great collector over the years. And he was explaining to me that one of the benches has a small water ring on it, and it's barely noticeable. Uh, so I, I went over to take a look at it the other day and felt that I could take care of it pretty easily by lightly sanding the benches and giving them another coat of water locks. That's the original finish is water locks wipe on varnish. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And then what I'll do once, maybe as I'm working on it, I'll talk a little bit about some of the design decisions and um, the joinery and things like that. And then we'll deliver them to the client and I'll show you where they go in the house. And that will explain why I used white oak for the benches because uh, they are right in direct sunlight uh, all year long. And white oak really holds up well in direct sunlight. So let's go ahead and get started by first sanding the benches with silicone carbide 320 sandpaper. Before I start sanding, I thought I'd just point out the circular watermark very hard to see, but it's just about here. And then what looks to be water damage, maybe a drops of water that were left there for a little while. And I think that that will also be easily taken care of with a little sanding and one or two more coats of finish. All right, I just finished sanding both benches and it really didn't take too long. And the old finish powdered up real nicely. And so now I'm gonna bring these upstairs, I'll vacuum all the dust off the benches, wipe them down, and then apply a new coat of water locks. Okay, well now I've got two coats of the water locks on the benches and I've allowed the finish to dry for 24 hours and now I'm rubbing the finish out with 40 steel wool and wool lube. And this is something that I use often. I'll put a still of the can if you want to do a Google search for it. The thing I like about using wool lube as opposed to a wax, you don't have to worry about removing the wax if you're ever going to refinish a project like I have with this one. Uh, so, a couple of things about this project. I made these uh, more than 15 years ago, and at the time I was really interested in trying to make things without any metal fasteners like screws and things like that. And so this is all about joinery and taking into uh, account what wood does. So the seat, there's a helicopter flying over, the seat is made out of white oak and it floats in these rails here. So there's a groove in the rails and the seat is just glued at the center and that allows it to expand and contract. And if you notice, the seat is two pieces and it's joined at the sapwood and that makes it very difficult to see where the two boards were joined. The one seat, it, I just really liked the figure in this grain, but it had this knot here and I used walnut sawdust with West System Epoxy to fill the knot and that's held up really well and I always say that if you're going to use a wood fill or make a wood fill it generally a good rule of thumb is to make it darker than the surrounding wood because that will mirror um, what wood does naturally if you think of a wood knot it's generally darker than the wood that surrounds it the whole bench is made with mortise and tenon and there's through mortise and tenon at the top with a rosewood locking wedge and so now I'm just going to go ahead and finish rubbing the benches out and then tomorrow I'm going to bring them over to the house and deliver them and I'll bring the camera with me so you can see what the house looks like. It's a really uh, cool contemporary house. It reminds me of the architect Mies van der Rohe and uh, maybe I can show you around a little bit. I'll show you where the benches have been for the last 15 years 
And there's also a, a really beautiful staircase, very modern staircase in the house. And we'll take a look at that. So let's go ahead and get this finished up and then we'll head over there tomorrow. Well, that's a pretty cool house, don't you think? I remember when I was commissioned to make those benches, I was commissioned by Jackie, who passed away about uh, maybe four or five years ago. And uh, Jackie and Howard have just been great clients. And I, uh, what Jackie was looking for, because Howard really didn't have much to do with it, uh, Jackie was looking for something that she could use as a bench for additional seating, and also something that she could also use as a table or have her guest use as a table during a, a cocktail party or, or something like that. And they've been in the house in that same spot for the last 15 years, and they've really held up well. And it's a real testimonial for using white oak in direct sunlight, because right now there's some shade on the benches because of all the leaves and the trees, but for the most part, or at least from November through May, it's just direct sun right on those benches, especially with the southern exposure, and the color has really held up well. And I wanted to um, mention that I used that music, which I like that song. I found it on the YouTube uh, Creators Library, uh, kind of in honor of Jackie, because I think she would approve of her house being seen with that music. She reminded me, uh, she's a very elegant woman, she reminded me of Audrey Hepburn, and that kind of reminded me of uh, like an Audrey Hepburn movie. So anyway, I do have a video, or not a video, a painting up for auction this week. This is this is a maquette for a larger painting that I plan on making. And this is generally how I sell my paintings. I make maquettes and then I digitally install them in the client's home. And that's kind of the, the jumping off point for getting a commission. And if you want me to talk a little bit more about that in another video, I will. If you want to bid on this painting, I'll have a link in the description. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon.